Hey everybody, it's quitting time on Friday for me and there's there's nothing in the garage. So let's go let's go bring something up. Yeah, we kicked this out for the weekend. It's gonna be nice. There's no snow, it's the almost the end of January. What the heck, Minnesota? There's a horse taking a pee. How you doing, bud? Huh? Well, we got a farm cat. He'll end up in the house or the garage anyways. Don't need to worry about him. I don't know, should we bring up the Ford, work on that this weekend? Bobcat? Well, those chains are going to come off. Not mine. Lawn tractor? No. What about the Chevy? Nah. So I guess that leaves a Challenger. Now, between that and that, it's going to end up up there. You going to help, Cat? I'm trying to get my chains off, and this guy is just not... Ow. Ow. I'm trying to get the chains off the bobcat, and he's just not helping at all. I mean, sure, I appreciate a good cat, but seriously? I'm... How can I expect to... How can I be expected to work with this cuteness? I mean, seriously. It's, I, really? Cat parade. Let's go get our forks. Well, it's now time to go up to the garage and Tank thought he wanted to come with me, but maybe he doesn't, so... Anyways, we need two hands for this. Well, after a 13-point turn, we're headed back up to the garage, nice and slow. Tank wasn't here, he wanted to get out and uh, walk up to the house with our daughter, so... We'll see you, like, in an hour, once we get all the way up there. And that is how you move your 72 Challenger from your shop to the garage with no engine and no steering. Cat accessory optional. Time to get to work. 